you sold one mm -hmm. at 1000 shillings yeah hey and from the 200 plants we had like a ton come on so we got crazy everywhere we had a space we were installing the dragon fruit yes. structure everywhere in the farm that's why you are finding even around our dams we have the dragon fruit because we could imagine these are 200 plants which are giving us one ton that is one million <laughs> kenya shillings yes what if i had like ten thousand plants how much will that be? yes so this place is known for apples mm -hmm. the way you had said yeah wambugu apples mm -hmm. then you come with this crazy dragon idea fruits. dad we want to do dragon yeah how was how was the reception he was ah no are you people okay uh, daddy we are doing uh, the dragon fruit farming he, no can't you plant the apples when we were actually harvesting our first harvest, dad was here. And whoever bought those first, there were first 50 fruits, our dad was here. Now yes. it was like 50,000 from just 50 fruits. He, he was like, huh? Are you real? When we planted, we had called an agronomist like about nine months after our plants are already planted. Yeah. And when the agronomist came, he told us that dragon fruit can't do well in Kenya. Actually, he said even in Africa. It will only do well in China. I don't know Philippines. He said <laughs> you should plant potatoes or cabbages. <laughs> yeah, and we for us we don't love those potatoes or cabbages. Why? Because I feel like that is something that you need to go through a broker mm. for you to go to the market. Yes. And the dragon fruit or fruits, you can even sell it on your own. A lot of people, mm -hmm. especially in the agricultural sector mm -hmm. or any other business sector, yeah. they hold back this information yeah. from other people. Yes. Why are you free giving out this information? Because the more I will have it or the more people will plant. That's when we will go to the export market. That's why I want to go to large scale better than I'm doing right now. Because if I focus on the add value addition, on uh, now the best value addition to do in dragon fruit farming is dragon fruit powder. Which is, which for export market is going for up to thirty thousand per kg. So trust the process. One day your life is gonna change. Keep on believing. You will be better than before. So trust the process. guys welcome to today's episode of inspire global my name is lynn googi now you see where i'm standing huh? i am in the middle of a dragon fruit farm huh? and they call it the most expensive fruit in the world actually my guest told me during their first harvest they made 1000 not on a kilo but on one fruit unona fruit kamai it was 1000 shillings but now it's going for 300 shillings and she's proving the world wrong majority of the people have said dragon fruits would never do well in africa they only do well in china philippines but right here at wonderful heaven orchard there is a lady doing incredible things with her husband all of them very well educated but they decided let's settle in agriculture their story is going to inspire you so much guys and we are going to learn a lot from this dragon fruit just from what she told me you can make four harvests in a but in like i want you guys to get this right you can harvest four times in a year and this batch here can give you up to 50 fruits do the math my people she will be talking to us extensively about dragon fruit here and how she comes together with her husband to make sure that they are doing an incredible job she calls herself the farming queen of africa and i'm telling you guys she has earned that name we are about to listen to her and 
and get to know more about dragon fruits. But, you know, I gotta say thank you to our amazing partners at Maridadi Motors. They brought us all the way here. We are in between Nyeri na Nyahururu. That's where this farm is located and they always drive us no matter where we are going. So, if you are looking into importing a car, why don't you try my people at Maridadi Motors? We just did an incredible handover. I was so happy to hand over cars to our people who just watch and they listen in and they go and buy cars at Maridadi Motors. Asante Nisana. So if you want to import a car, try my people at Maridadi Motors. And of course, if you are looking into investing in a circle, you can also check them out. Not forgetting their car wash and sparkling where you can be able to take your duvets. Zifuliwe nampaka ka? carpet and they are driving school as well and my team for always coming through so you know what we do on uh episode inspire global we take our pen we take our notebook and we listen in and if you're in agriculture and you want your story featured this is the email right here drop me a summary and who knows tunaweza kuwa tunakuja zone yako now let's listen in to this amazing dragon fruit story hapa hapa my name is priscilla nyairia I am the firstborn in my family. Yes. We are two. I have my younger sister who follows after me. Mm -hmm. I was raised up by a single mom oh. who really trusts in me. Yes. I went to school in a village called Mukuruene, the school called Wahari Primary School. Wahari? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it talk. is not relating with whom I am yes, today. Today, there yes. you go. Yeah, yeah, I left the Wahari there. Stage uko. Yes. yes. So I went to school to Blessed Irene. Uh -huh. It is known as Nyatha. Yes. Nyatha High School. I think that's where I got my mercy from. Yeah. Because Nyatha means being merciful. Yeah. And then after high school, I went to campus, Southeastern Kenya University, to do my computer science degree. No way. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And when I was in campus, mm. I got attachment or rather a kind of internship at a diocese of Nyeri. Yes. And in that process, that's where we met with my boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> who really trusted in me. And once we could have stories you could tell me no i need your brains in my work because you can really help me to be whom i ought to better myself okay yeah eh. that is how we met yes. while i was still in campus and how he told me you know he has done bbit bachelor of business information technology Good. Yeah. yeah and now i was doing computer science and he was telling me you do you know what these things are not helping nowadays. We need to come to farming and become billionaires. That's what he was actually telling me. And I was like, no. According to the way I was raised up, farming is for the poor people. You know, it's not something that you should go for. And invest in. Yeah, and invest in. You know, I was being told, where soma kwa bidi, uskue mkulima. That is what my parents and guardians were telling me mm. now i have a friend here who is telling me a, a, a to, boyfriend yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a boyfriend who is telling me that i should bring my brains to farming mm. you know and then he could tell me then covid came that's when now we got time mm. to come into farming yes. he, he could tell me come we do this and that and then that's when we got to to get the dragon fruit yeah now he was able to take me away from my parents to his farming life because we had time we were idle. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I came into a, a dragon fruit farming. Okay. Yes. Ah, yeah. We are not going that fast. <laughs> Let's go back. Rewind, uh -huh. right? Yeah. So you are there, you are da you, you are doing this whole computer. Science. Computer science. Yes. You have your guy here mm -hmm. telling you, mm -hmm. ah, let's go and try fa yeah. farming, mm -hmm. right? So we can see the brains are braining. Yeah. Both of you, the brains is here. Exactly. But apart from the brains, what did you see in him? Okay, I saw a serious man. Hmm. He's very serious and determined. And again, when he was telling me to come into farming, he, he could tell me, maybe you could take uh, dragon fruit or fruits department and he could go for for the dairy goat department. So we were sharing like that. And I was like, oh, 
that is kind of making sense because I don't want to be a housewife. Personally, I can never be a housewife. What's wrong with that? I can never be a housewife. I want to be somebody who is independent on my own. Yes. And also, somebody can look at me and be like, I want to be like Priscilla. So you, you loved the fact that he was encouraging you. Yes, I loved the, the fact that he was encouraging me and he was doing it out of passion. Mm. You know, he's raised up in a background of farming. Okay. So he has a story to tell. Yes. And then he was just looking for somebody who can hold his hand and they walk together. Okay. Yeah. So now you tell mom, Kwaheri. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and now... <laughs> how was mom? <laughs> I went to tell mom that, oh, do you know mom? I, I lied to her that I'm going to be <laughs> a farm manager somewhere. <laughs> then she was like, why don't I go to be the farm manager there? Oh, mom, Sasa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mom, do you know what? I a job and uh, this person wants me to manage <laughs> the farm. <laughs> the farm. Uh -huh. Then my mom was like, why don't I go myself to be the manager there? Because I fit that job than you. Yes. And then I told her, no, let me go and try and then I will come back to you. Uh -huh. it's, it's as if my mom had seen some signs. Yeah. There's something that is not adding up with this farm managing. Yes. She told me, go direct to the point. What do you want? <laughs> And now I told her, do you know what, mom? Mm. There's this person who is telling me, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and then... When you had not introduced him to mom? No. Hey. I had not introduced him to mom. Why though? Uh, my mom is an African <laughs> mom. <laughs> She's an African mom. Yeah. Ah, she could be dramatic and then you're just like, huh? Yes. Yeah. Now she told me, if the person is serious, let him come to me. And then I was like, huh? Could it be a trap for him? And then I just told him, my mommy has said this and that. And he made a day and they come sit together. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now, I know your father-in-law yes. himself. Huh? Yes. He's very popular. Yeah. Could you tell us about him mm -hmm. and also how he received you mm -hmm. into the farming mm -hmm. now family? Yeah. And what did he think about you back then? Oh, my father-in-law is such a mentor. Ah. Yeah, and funny enough, he didn't go to school. He's a class seven dropout. dropout. But his brains, he was able to come up with his own apple mm. without even going to school. He's such a person who will motivate you to be whatever you want to be, and especially into farming. Yes. He always tells us everything is possible. Yeah, you can be whatever you want to be. Yeah. As long as you trust in God. And hard work. You can do it. Yes, you can do it. He's yeah. such a father. Yes. Yes. His name? Peter Wambugu Kago. <laughs> <laughs> That's I was going, girl. Yeah. Of Wambugu Apples. Yes. Yeah, great man right there. He is, He's inspired he is. so many people. So you knew you were coming to the Wambugus. Mm. How was that for you? Okay, I was like, will I actually adapt into farming? Because, you know, I didn't love farming. And then I'm going to a family whereby everybody is a farmer. And when I came here, they were very ready to teach me, everybody, by the way, uh -huh. from the sisters and the brothers, yeah. everybody was teaching me how to go about it. Yes. And that's how it was easy for me to learn farming. So when your person uh -huh. met your mom, yeah. and when the family came there, how was the conversation? Okay, it was friendly. Yes. It's as if they had known each other previously. It was so friendly. Mm. Yeah, so everybody. She, she gave you her blessings. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. And then you landed. Yes. She what? actually said, go and you'll be blessed. What she said is that when you settle in life, make sure you go back to your to your academics because I love schooling. Even when I was doing the degree, I was also doing the CPA. Yes. Yeah, because I love managing my accounts. Okay. <laughs> yes. Now come manage me. <laughs> I love managing uh, my account. Yes. Yes. That's beautiful. Yeah. Alafu mkaingia sasa mm -hmm. area. Yeah. Ukakuja huko. Yes. What was the initial plan mm -hmm. for this farm for you and your husband? The initial plan was to drill a borehole. Yeah. Because by then he didn't have a borehole. We were relying on the project water. Yeah, we have a project water here which comes twice. It is rationed. Mm. Yeah, that is what we had to work for first. Because without water here, you can't do farming. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we were trying to save here and there. Mm. And uh, finding in mind that, that it was during COVID time, so everything was cheap. 
that's how we were able to drill a borehole very fast mm -hmm. and easy for us. Okay. After drilling the borehole, now we were doing the Wambogo apple by then. Yeah. Now we, we did it. The, we did the irrigation system for the Wambugu apple. And then after some time, my hubby was working with the Kenya Red Cross. Okay. And he had this passion of dragon fruit. So he approached one of the Philippines that they were working together. Then he told the person, oh, I would like to have dragon fruits. I can see that you are doing it very well. That is now the person who helped her to get the dragon fruit into Kenya. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's how we sourced our first dragon fruit cuttings. Yes. Yes. How cheap or expensive was are they okay we were buying a cutting as 10 at 10 dollars mm. by then mm -hmm. and then adding to the shipping cost and all that it was oh. adding up to about 20 us dollars per cutting okay for the people who might not understand mm -hmm. what's a cutting mm -hmm. a cutting is like the seedling you will go to plant some people you can plant like for maize we plant seeds yes but now the dragon fruit we plant the cutting or the seedling mm -hmm. yes so that was like 10 dollars total 20 something yes the shipping cost the shipping and everything. inclusive did you start with the whole shamba or no. did you pick a specific place we started with a section that could hold about a hundred of them and then after some time that's when we started propagating our own <laughs> Hey, so <laughs> then we started propagating. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sasa umepotea kwa propagation. Wewe wacha ni nini sasa wewe wewe. Wewe usinifanye hivyo mbele ya watu wangu. We to claim as you shamba. Sio shamba, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> hey, my people, let's propagate together. So, walk me mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. bringing the seedlings, mm -hmm. like now the you called it a cutting, yeah. planting that mm -hmm. now into a section. Yeah. How long did it take for you to see now the fruit, mm -hmm. the dragon, yeah. and where did you supply? Mm -hmm. How was the reception? Okay, we first nursed them for like two, ma three months, mm -hmm. and then after that we had to transplant them. While you are transplanting your dragon fruit, that is planting from the nursery to the farm, mm. you need to have installed the structure, that is the poles. Some people will go for the timber poles and others will go for the concrete poles, which is actually the best. Mm. Yeah. So for us, we went for the cheapest because by then we could not afford the concrete poles. Mm -hmm. We went for the timber poles. And then while making your structure, you need to have a ring-like structure at the top mm. yeah so that when th your dragon fruit is climbing it will come out fro through the tire mm -hmm. yes so that's why you have the tires yes okay yeah mm -hmm. so after that and while you are you your dragon fruit is going up you have to be pruning the ones that are growing on the sides so who is doing this just you and him yeah only the two of us were here Remember, we are young, we don't have money, so we are trying, even the irrigation system that is in this farm, we are the one who installed it, the two of us. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, so that's how we did it for the, our first section, which had about 200 dragon fruits. Yes. And after, after that, and remember in every pole you plant two or three, so you are planting two. And uh, when after one year, that's when we started receiving having our fruits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after. that is in 2021. That's ah. when we harvested our first dragon fruit. Yes. And to surprise you, we sold our first dragon fruit one at 100 Kenya shillings. One. Yeah. That was the price by then. Yes. Yeah. One at one hundred. One thousand, I mean, oh, not one hundred. Hey, no, many propagate like I. <laughs> no, no, I no, no, so no. Sorry, you sold, you sold one mm -hmm. at one thousand shillings. Yeah. Hey. And from the two hundred plants, we had like a ton. Come on. So we got crazy everywhere. We had a space. We were installing the dragon fruit yes. structure everywhere in the farm. That's why you are finding even around our dams, we have the dragon fruit. Because we could imagine these are 200 plants which are giving us one ton. That is one million. 
Kenya shillings. Yes. What if I had like 10,000 plants? How much will that be? Yes. So let's go back to that small section. Mm -hmm. Let's calculate the profit now. Mm -hmm. How much had you used? That's mm -hmm. in the importing cost, everything. Mm -hmm. How much had you used and how much profit did you make the first harvest? Okay, we had used like 200,000 Kenya mm -hmm. shillings, mm -hmm. including the irrigation system, the poles, the the metal you are using at the top mm. yeah including had, the cutting also yes mm -hmm. yes so like you got like 800k yeah profit yes and that's how we were able to even plant the other section right now we are planning to do like 10 acres at least 10 acres of dragon fruits because yeah. we know this is a magical plant amen yes receive it amen i Rece receive you, you receive it i yeah? receive it. receive it yes but this place is known for apples, mm -hmm. the way you had said, yeah. Wambugu apples. Mm -hmm. Then you come with this crazy dragon idea, fruits. Dad, we want to do dragon. Yeah. How was how was the reception? Uh -huh. Did they not say, are you crazy? Mm -hmm. Or how was the support like? Okay, our dad was like, what are you planting? From the name dragon, so many people are like... <laughs> He would, he, yeah, he could tell us, Rutai, get coma kills, you know. <laughs> remove that evil. <laughs> yeah, remove that evil from the farm. And then he was, ah, no, are you people okay? You know, he calls me, mom, what are you doing? <laughs> and then I told him, mom, uh, daddy, we are doing uh, the dragon fruit farming. He, no, can't you plant the apples? That space that you are planting the dragon fruit could have added your apples. And then I told him, let's see and w let's wait and see what will come out. Uh -huh. That's when we were actually harvesting our first harvest, dad was here. And whoever bought those first, there were first 50 fruits, our dad was here. Now yes. it was like 50,000 from just 50 fruits. He, w he was like, huh? Are you real? You know, he used a kikuyu word. Gekomanok, you make grief Oh my God. <laughs> Translate that for you guys real quick. Can an, can can a devilish yes. thing cost fifty thousand? Give us fifty thousand. Yeah, <laughs> and that's when he got the idea and he loved it too because uh -huh. he saw the profit that we are actually getting from it. Yes, even the society were like, ah, these people have COVID nineteen depression or so. You guys, now. yeah. Because some of our neighbors were asking us, what are you planting? And we could tell them we are planting some plants which are scaring away birds. You know, birds has been a problem for the apple farmers. Yeah. So we could tell them we are using them to to, to scare away the birds yeah. because they have the thorns. Okay. Yes. So now you've, oh, they have the thorns. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Yes. So you get your profit. Mm -hmm. The profit margin is beautiful. Yes. And then now, of course, you've done the manure. Mm -hmm. Walk me through now. Mm -hmm. When you plant a dragon fruit, mm -hmm. what does it need to survive? Okay, it needs some water, mm. like 10 liters per week per pole. And then manure. Not a lot of manure. Yeah. Yeah. About 10 kgs you heap manure because this dragon fruit will have most of the roots on the stem. Mm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's why we heap the manure. Okay. Yes. So where did you get the manure? Okay. We had some few goats. Th that is our source of manure mm. even today. Yeah. Okay. But before we, we go, we had the goats, we were buying the manure. So to reduce th that cost of buying manure and all that, we are trying to be self-sustaining. Manure, everything, we are getting it from here. Of course. Yes. You have to propagate. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we have to propagate, <laughs> have our, to propagate manure. our manure. <laughs> yeah, but le let me ask mm -hmm. the weather conditions. Mm -hmm. Where does it do well mm -hmm. from your observation? Yeah. I'm just asking for the people who are interested. Where does it do well? Mm -hmm. And did you experience any challenges? Okay, it does well in any climatic condition, mm. provided that your soil is not waterlogging. Yeah, it will do well. Because this plant doesn't have those roots that are going like tap roots. Most mm. of the roots are that just on the surface. Mm -hmm. So it will do well in cold places and also in hot places mm. but some people are saying that it will is doing well in the arid or semi-arid areas which is not true mm. provided your area is receiving about six hours to eight hours per day mm. this plant will do good okay what did you guys do research mm. or you just took a leap of faith and decided to pand eh? what mm -hmm. what what research did you and your person do Okay, we don't do any research. We are just risk takers. Yes. Okay, when we planted, we had called an agronomist like about nine months after our plants are already planted. Yeah. And when the agronomist came, he told us that dragon fruit can't do well in Kenya. Actually, he said even in Africa. 
it will only do well in china i don't know philippines or whatever he was saying and then we had we, we had somebody who is discouraging us yes. so we had to chase the person that <laughs> We are very sorry for that if the person is watching. Yes. Yeah. So he said the US in Africa. Yeah. yeah. He said you should plant potatoes or cabbages. <laughs> yeah, and we for us we don't love those potatoes or cabbages. Why? Because I feel like that is something that you need to go through a broker mm. for you to go to the market yes. and the dragon fruit or fruits you can even sell it on your own. Wanaweza atakujia kwa shamba. Yes. Okay. But potatoes, cabbages it's very common. Mm. Yeah. Okay. We needed something unique. Mm. Yeah. So you chased the guy. You chased the Mkashikana guy. Mkono mkasema, <laughs> whatever, whatever comes comes. Yes. We are sticking with the dragon. Exactly. But why is it that people have that perception that a dragon fruit can do well in Africa. Okay, I think it's because Africans we are just based on books. You know what we read in books is what we believe in. It's like we don't trust ourselves. We trust the white people more than our potential. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's where we are. Yeah. So we need to experiment more. Yeah, we need to. Everything can grow in our soil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now tumemaliza hiyo section mm -hmm. yenye ku experiment mm -hmm. now this whole place is full of dragon fruits mm -hmm. there is a nursery there mm -hmm. there is manure there mm -hmm. how 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 is the going now okay right now we can say we are doing it real we love the plant the plant also loved us so good yeah, yeah. energy <laughs> yeah yes. it's loving us and we are also loving it you know when something is appreciating you you will tend to love it more and provided that the plant is taking care of us we will also take care of it back mm. yes okay zina mea zote pamoja at the same time or the achana kidogo cuz now we found like we have some mm -hmm. and some are still growing yes. like zina mea zote and how is the demand for you oh the demand is so big you know we are not even meeting the market and again unajua hata ukipata watoto watano hawata grow the, pamoja yeah pamoja but mm. you find that if you have like a, a hundred, ninety of them will be at the same stage mm -hmm. and again sometimes what are chana because of pruning you really need to prune a dragon fruit if you don't prune the plant that you didn't prune will be left behind yeah so the major care you take to dragon fruit is pruning now we are in october uh -huh. assuming i plant a dragon fruit in october yes. when will i harvest next year october one year yes of only me pruning. one year of you pruning. Lakini na hiyo na hiyo profit imagine I can do it. Yes. I can do I with can you do pruning. It. Yes. Yeah. I can do it. Mm -hmm. Ah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. You work with your husband yeah. in this farm. Yes. You guys don't fight. You don't have disagreements who does what. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sometimes we disagree, but now the good thing about us is that we will have that disagreement now and then a, a visitor will come in who is now a customer and leave some money. <laughs> So the money will bring you back together. Yeah, and again because we are doing the farming, if I get annoyed, this is how I deal with my anger. Mm. I just go to the farm, I move around, maybe I'll find a peach which is ripe, I take. I go find a goat which has given birth to twins, I smile. By the time I'm coming back, everything is rubbed off and I'm now happy. Yes. Yes. Happy wife. Yes, ah! happy wife, happy life. <laughs> you are such a beautiful <laughs> son. <laughs> Why is the dragon fruit the most expensive fruit in the world? Mm -hmm. And is that correct that it's the most expensive? Yes, it is. It is the most expensive because it has a lot of health benefits. You know, for us ladies, we love staying young. Yes. So it is anti-aging. No way. Yeah. Is it scientifically proven? It is. Really? Yeah. Okay. It is anti-aging. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's going, now it's going for how much right now? Right now a kg is going for 700. No, moja like if moja to kill the pieces ni 300. Yenye tumekula ni 300. Mm. So you are telling me I be taking one per day. Yeah. <laughs> so if a plant will give you 50 fruits. No, way. a plant can do that. Yes. One even moja mm. evil, but you said you put how many cuttings in a pole? Three. Two or three. Two or three. Yes. So that one, mm -hmm. even when you to Mayona, mm -hmm. it can give you how many again? Fifty. Fifty. Yes. Hey. So times three hundred. Times three hundred. Then it has four seasons per year. 
za ku harvest yeah. wewe umeniambia nikipanda saa hii nita nita harvest next year yeah uta harvest next year that is your first season hey. then after two months or three then you get another season mayo <laughs> <laughs> it has so, four seasons per year. The first time you guys pla- let me get this for the people who are watching. Mm-hmm. The first time you guys planted, mm-hmm. you waited for a year yes. to harvest. Yes. Then after a year, mm-hmm. in a year now you do how many harvests? Four, four harvests. And one can give you 50. Yes. <laughs> And one can give you 50. Mm-hmm. So that's why we want to go to even more than 10 acres if possible. Okay. The only challenge is the structure. Now. Okay. Yeah. Does it take a year because it has to grow? Yes. Of course I know that's common knowledge but I have to make sure yeah. it has to grow. Yeah. And then after it grows you can do 3 to 4 harvests. Yes. Hey. three to four harvest. Okay. Yeah. Back to the benefits mm-hmm. of it. It's an anti-aging. It is anti-aging because it detoxifies your body. I come on, you see like Yeah, ah, I see why you looking so good. <laughs> it's because of the fruit. Yes. Yeah. It's so okay. Mm-hmm. All right, go on. Yeah, and again, it also it is very rich in vitamin C, which will actually boost your immunity. Mm-hmm. And again, it fights cancer because the again the vitamin C uh it's more. Yes. Yeah. And, and rich in is, and this is scientifically proven. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And it is rich in fiber. So that's why it's very good for those people who are fighting diabetics. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But if I uh, if w- the first harvest you made y- you are selling it sorry you are selling it at a thousand. Mm-hmm. That's per fruit. Yeah. One fruit. Yes. And now a fruit has gone to 300. Yes. Are you not scared of the market it's becoming porous? No. Because the more I will have it or the more people will plant. So that's when we will go to the export market. That's why I want to go to large scale better than I'm doing right now because if I focus on the add value addition on uh, now the best value addition to do in dragon fruit farming is dragon fruit powder which is which for export market is going for up to 30,000 per kg the the dragon fruit powder, powder mm-hmm. yeah what do people use it for they use it for like glucose yes. and also food color oh. and also is a way of preserving your fruit yes yes okay That's why it's very expensive to 30,000 Kenya shillings per kg and we were seeing that it is about 10 fruits mm. that will make that 1 kg. Yeah. Yes. But a lot of people mm-hmm. especially in the agricultural sector mm-hmm. or any other business sector yeah. they hold back this information yeah. from other people. Yes. Why are you free giving out this information? Because when you light a, a candle that house will have more light than my own so if we do it more people i will have the energy to export if i'm to export mm. other than me doing it alone maybe sometimes i don't have those fruits and somebody else like clean is harvesting mm. so we can make sure that we have that consistency in market yes yes But your brain your brain is beautiful thank you like jokes aside like i know i'm playing so much on this episode but yeah. your brain is so beautiful thank you thank you do you very regret much. this do you regret the shift no, in agriculture no 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 this is actually the best career somebody can go for How I wish I even did agriculture business. Yeah. Which I will go for in the near future. In the near future. Yes. Wow, that's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Back to other things that you are doing. Mm-hmm. Please don't tell me about the chicken. They'll have to watch that in a different <laughs> episode. I'm coming back guys. Yeah. But you are also doing a lot of other things. Mm-hmm. Could you take us through that? Yeah. We are also doing the wambogo apple mm. which we are known for. even the dragon fruit is just i buy the way yes. and then it came out to be a successful business yeah wambogo apple which actually starts fruiting at nine months it's the best apple variety in the world yes it is that yes. that has been proven <laughs> yeah yes. which grows anywhere and we grow it organically all this farming we are doing it's organic we don't use chemicals no fertilizers no no nothing yeah If there is any fertilizer it should be organic. Yes. And that's the that's chance for fertilizer we use like dirty fish water. Mm. We can use rabbit urine. Yeah. Goat manure. Yes. Okay. That's what we use for farming. Mm. We do also persimmon. I don't know whether you know about persimmon. Teach me girl, teach me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fruit which is very expensive right now in Kenya it's at 400 Kenya shillings and again it can grow anywhere in this place and the size is like a tomato. 
we also do pomegranate that's one of my favorites yeah yes. we are also doing pomegranate some yes. people will call it like the viagra the organic viagra <laughs> 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 this one there. Yeah? Yeah. Because the health benefits it actually helps in your fertility. Yes. So those people who are fighting fertility it helps. Yeah. But it that is not the only health benefit is because people focus a lot on, on that. that one. Yeah. Yeah. It also fights cancer, colon yeah. cancer mm. and also fiber. It, it is very rich in fiber. Okay. Yes. All right. The plant is and the outer part which is very bitter helps to regulate your blood pressure. Uh -huh. Yes. Beautiful. Mm. And of course you are forgetting something. Peach. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we have the golden peaches Beautiful. which is very sweet. Yeah, but the peach have season, two seasons only per year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it is among the expensive now. Yes. Right now we are selling it at 2000 per kg. <laughs> Kenya shillings, not Ugandan shillings. <laughs> 2000 Kenya shillings yes. right now yes. and i see some berries also mm -hmm. mulberries mulberries yeah we are using mulberries like the first thing is that they are fruits also the leaves are edible but again they can eat the leaves yes okay you cook them like now spinach like yeah oh beautiful yeah yes but now we are using it to to feed the birds you know, we, we are also given the birds to feed them. They don't have the mother or father. Yes. So we fence with the mulberries. Yeah. Yeah. So that they can come feed on mulberries and leave our dragon fruits and apples alone. Alone. Eh? Yes. Okay. Livestock. Livestock, we have the goats, which are dairy goats. Yes. Right now I'm selling my one liter goat milk at 200 Kenya shillings. <laughs> Kerosene, how much? <laughs> So it's oh, one I can't carry my food. I can't carry my zero. I turn it again. Eh. So that's the, it's also a business. We were doing it just for manure, but later on they we breeded them and now we, mm -hmm. we can we're also selling the breeds for yeah. our goats. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've seen also a very it's a pet. Mm -hmm. A pet like a pet goat or yes, something. It's What's a pet that? Goat. Yeah, and it has it is a dairy goat and also a pet goat yeah. and it can do well in those countries that receive snow yes. because it's like it has clothes on yeah. on it we on, the, on it yeah. yeah that's nice yeah uh -huh. we no, also do on. aquaculture mm. we have the fish yes, I've seen which that. gives us the nitrogen you know when we are changing that dirty water yeah. we transfer mm. it to we water it to our apples or our plants mm. to the farm mm. and then we can it is like the overflow of our borehole so we take it to the farm, which is rich in nitrogen. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What What makes you so happy about this place? Okay. The fact that it is peaceful. He, everything is about saving. You know, I'm getting my spinach from the farm. You know, my weeds is terere. Hey, girl. <laughs> yeah. So it's all about saving. Milk is from the farm. Yes. I have my own borehole, so I don't have any water bills. Mm. I'm also solar powered. You use solar? Yes. I see. That's solar, right? Yeah. Ah. I'm also solar powered. Yeah. Yeah. Everything it's... is about saving. You so, can save a lot well in the farm other than in the city. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe my foot I could pick. Only. Yeah, but I'm planning to plant canora. <laughs> <laughs> Only. Yeah. 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 Agri um farming and all this aside, mm -hmm. you're also someone's best friend and someone's wife, right? Yes. So how do you how do how do you socialize like how is your social life like? Okay. The fact that we work together, uh, we have that time to bond every time we are together. Yeah. So even the friendship is growing day in, day out. We are each other consultants. If I like I have a YouTube channel. You do? Yeah. Tell them about it. Yeah. They I are have coming. a YouTube channel yeah. which is Wonderful Heaven or Church. Yes. Yeah. That is my YouTube channel. He's the one who financed my my shooting and all that. Aww. I just have to call the camera people yes. we shoot and then he's the one to do the okay. financing and all that. So your brand is called Wonderful Heaven or Church. Yes. Why Wonderful Heaven? Okay, we want to have as much as we want to go to heaven mm. after death. The main heaven is here on earth. Yeah, that one is promised, which is not guaranteed. Mm. But you can make your own heaven here on earth. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's, oh, that's nice. Huh? Mm -hmm. But there's something we've been saying, and sometimes mm -hmm. we say it as a joke. Yeah. Ukulima siyo ushamba. Mm -hmm. What would you tell parents and all the people who perceive agriculture as a poor man's career? 
Okay, it's because people, they don't have somebody they are looking up at to. When we were growing up, we could see the poor people were doing the farming or the retired people were going into farming. But once somebody like me goes into farming and succeed and they show people that it is not for the washambas, it is, you, can, you can show people that you are making it. To the parent, if your child wants to do farming, support that child. Mm. Yeah. But we are finding that some of the parents are ready to support the children, but now the young people don't want to go to into farming. Yes, this is not it for us. Yeah. We don't want this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's quite sad. Yeah, it is. Mm. It is. Because for me here, you find that most of the parents are bringing their kids mm -hmm. to me mm -hmm. to teach them. And after they get the training, nobody is coming back. Their parents are the ones who are coming back to do the fruit farming. Yeah, them they don't want. They eh? don't want. Yeah, but do you sell now? Like the cuttings, mm. can you sell to people? Are you yes. selling the... Mm. I sell the dragon fruit seedlings. Mm. Yeah, they are rooted seedlings. The cuttings are not rooted. Okay. But once they are rooted are seedlings, uh -huh. at 500 Kenya shillings. And also... Pa? Per seedling. Okay. And also... We sell the wambugu apple mm. at 1,000 per seedling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And wow. also the peaches is 5,000 Kenya shillings. The seedling? Yes. Okay. For the peaches. Mm. Pomegranate, 1,000 Kenya shillings. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm. You, will you go back to school now? Yes. What do you want to go and do? Agriculture. Agriculture. Oh, man. But it's when I consult most of the educators, mm. I, I, we had some lecturers that I told I want to go to school. They told me, they are actually they are doctors and professors and they are telling me please don't go back to school you are doing the right thing so when i listen to them i'm like i'm okay i'm okay yeah. because they are professors and they, and are, they are coming to me mm. so i feel like i'm okay as well okay <laughs> yeah okay let's go back to socializing what else do you do for yourself for myself to have fun mm -hmm. Mama, have time your fun okay sometimes not after your time your fun Hakuna. But yeah, only YouTube. Yeah. Mm. What keeps you going? What keeps me going mm. is that fighting poverty. Poverty is my main, main enemy. That's why we work hard during the day and night. Yeah, to oh. fight poverty. Mm. Mm -hmm. You started uh, as two people. Mm -hmm. Now, how many employees do you have? Okay, we are, we also have some of the farms. Yeah, we have several acres around. Yes. So in total, we have about, let's say, 10. And we can hire some cashews if need be. Yeah. Yes. On a need to be basis. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we are still creating employment to mm. some people. Yeah. Mm. The people who are watching and they are demotivated mm -hmm. to venture into agriculture, mm -hmm. what do you want to tell them? Oh, they should venture into fruit farming. You know, people are discouraged because maybe they went into something that was not profitable. Mm. Only that, or rather, they didn't have knowledge on how to do it. So before you venture into any agriculture, make sure that you have some skills about it or some knowledge about how mm. to go about it. Mm. And also, let people avoid telefarming. You know, some people are just calling. Did you water the plants? Yes. And then they are comfortable that somebody else it's did it for well. them. Yeah, do it yourself yeah. or you can make sure that you're going at least once per week to that farm. Mm. Yeah, to make sure that everything is going on well. Yeah, mm. tempe a sight, mm. look around yeah. and see. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you for inspiring us. Mm -hmm. But before I go, mm -hmm. anything you want to add? And mm -hmm. if people want dragon fruits also, mm -hmm. where can they come and buy? <laughs> Okay. Or it's you need to order. It's mm. just orders. If someone needs to place an order, or can someone walk in? No, we always have those seedlings available. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have the apples, the dragon fruit peaches. All the seedlings are available. Yeah. Yeah, they can watch my content. Yes. Yeah, I educate people on how to take care of these. Found plants. her on TikTok, by the way. Thank you, Val. Mm -hmm. Found you on TikTok. Yeah. You know, doing it, and I was like, this is amazing. Yes. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I am. Priscilla in TikTok, Priscilla Wonderful Heaven. Yes. YouTube, Wonderful Heaven Orchard. That's yeah. why, where I go to teach my farmers there. Yes. Because some of the people are coming from outside the country for the training. So coming for, for training maybe after every two months is not possible. Mm. So that's why I'm also doing 
my YouTube content mm -hmm. educating people on how to take care of these plants. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Proud of you. Thank you. Beautiful job. Yeah. Honestly, so inspired. <laughs> thank you. Thank you have you. no idea. I've mm -hmm. had so much fun in this interview. You're most I welcome. I know. It took me a lot to mm -hmm. get here, mm -hmm. uh, but to me, Fika. Yeah, finally. Kwane, finally. <laughs> interview to Nafanya Sangapi. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Gotta look at my watch, guys. Ni five at us, ni five thirty. It's five thirty. Uh -huh. We are doing this five thirty p.m. Uh -huh. and you waited for us. Yes, from ten. From ten. No twelve. Ten. No twelve. Uh -huh. Twelve. We you said said ten. Then you change to 12, Good. from 12 to 4. Yes, uh -huh. and we are here. Sicha muhimu tulifika. Tulifika. We'll see yati ni karibu. Uh -huh. Tulifika and it's beautiful. Simbali. So yeah, say hi to your family yeah. for me, uh -huh. especially Mr. Wambogo. Uh -huh. Msalimie kabisa. I'll bring my people his story uh -huh. uh, very soon. Yeah. But today I just want to say you've been a source of our inspiration. Thank you. Salimie, you are happy. I will. You are smiling. He's doing a good <laughs> job. Thank you. Thank <laughs> He's you. doing a good job. Yes. So me intabeba tu pomogran. Uh -huh. ni bebe my peaches uh -huh. ni tena hiyo dragon fruit ingine ni bebe wacha jokes yeah. hii interview ishe hata <laughs> malize ni tu utanunua so that you can feel no. what a farmer feels no sikuwa nsema unipe bure ok I'll buy. Okay. Mimi. Mm. <laughs> you think, but I'll buy. Yeah. Uh, let me just think about mm -hmm. But jokes aside, though, mm -hmm. thank you. You've been very inspirational. You're most welcome. And I hope the people who are watching mm -hmm. can actually learn a thing or two from yeah. you. And I'm glad you chased something that makes yes, you happy. Yes, yes. Right? Shukran sana. Can Do you have understand. anything you want to say to my people as we conclude? Yeah. Yeah. We are based along Nyeri Nyahururu Road. Yes. It's actually... 60 kilometers from Nyeri town and 30 kilometers from, from Nyahururu. Nyahururu. Yeah. yeah. This place is called South Menting Gobit. Yes. Yeah. And it is in Laikipia County, not in Meru. In Laikipia, in Laikipia County. County. Yeah. Yeah. You at see, a place called Makutano ya IDP. Unaona why I got here at four. Mm -hmm. See, I should have come with my chopper. Like it's too... Next yeah. time you will find me with a helipad here. So <laughs> Even me, I have money. I'm pretty. <laughs> I have money. You have, you have. I am pretty. Oh, in the okay. I just make sure the landing is good. Mm, I will, yeah, I will. so that Nisikai kwa barabara. Nisikai kwa barabara. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, as uh, so we have to go. But I hope my people at home, you've been inspired. She's doing an amazing job. Found her on TikTok. Really good to know she has a YouTube channel. Uh, it's right here on your screen. And the link will be pinned on the comment section. And if you guys, you've not been inspired, inspired today sijui now ukulima si ushamba i keep saying there is no shame in hard work take a risk on yourself just do it and do it afraid you know what i mean eh? yeah just do it and of course guys now it's time to bounce leave me your take home from the comment section wanna say a huge thank you to my people at maridadi motors Hata sasa ni wanze tu kunipea ndege. Eric, I hope uh, you are coming through with Maridadi choppers. Mi kuongele shwa hivi staki. Like I don't want. I want to land the Maridadi way. But guys, if you are thinking of importing a car, I always say I'll always bring you people who are credible. People have done my due diligence. Nani najua. By the way, since we even started working with Maridad, it's been over a year plus. Actually, this is our second year. No complaint from any of you. They deliver, they walk, they talk. So if you are thinking of importing your dream cani, Lexus 570. Umenunua mabado? Ndi unanunua. Unanunua wapi? Maridad. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate yeah. the support, girl power. Thank I you. appreciate when <laughs> I'm true. Yeah. I'm true. So, but can you just go check them out? You don't have to buy from mm -hmm. there, but check them yes, out. Yes. Eric is a good person. Okay. His team is amazing. So if you're thinking of importing a car, guys, why don't you try Maridadi Motors? And I say, kama pia unataka kuenda kufanyiwa gari car wash, na pia carpet yako na duvet, they have a beautiful brand called Sparkling, Pitia Hapo. If you want to invest, 
they have their own circle why don't you try that too na kama unataka kupeleka mtoto drive in school and a maridadi drive in school let them know that i appreciate them eric and team continue doing what you doing hasa mumesikia challenge ni mnipatie maridadi chopa but from me guys and my team muga palace kola edgar and of course joshua kwa kutuleta asanteni sana and kelvin and sam compiling this episode and making sure it reaches you guys right on time and if you are into agriculture and you want us to document your story in for at lnn.digital and if you also have an inspirational story that you would want us to document doesn't necessarily have to be in agriculture also email us sasa tuendele ku pro propagate yeah tuendele ku propagate hii channel yetu my people get us to 1 million sub- subscribers and we'll truly appreciate you i was your host with the most lean google leo mwezi niambia kitu nimekula the most expensive fruit in the world na beba na pakiwa zingine yeah so i hope you guys also your dreams can come true no matter where what you doing in life please there's no shame in hard work mtu asikwambie kitu go out there and chase your dream like you mean it see i see you guys tomorrow at 10 am bye guys she said at yata ni there hapa ni wapi? Leo nimekuja kumaliza biashara. Hapa ni wapi? Alijaribu mtoe. Alijaribu hapa. My people, hapo ni wapi? You see? You see? Peel. At all you have to peel. Eh, ah, peel. There you go. You see? Ona, ona. Ona. Usiringia ndani, ibuingia ndani yed. Ibuingia ndani. Mm. Ndani ya ingozi. Oh yeah. Hivyo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Keep on believing.